In this video, we're going to look at the concept and equation behind density, and finish off by looking at how we can find the density of unknown solids and liquids experimentally. Density is just a measure of how much mass a substance has per unit of its volume. So to find it, all we need to do is divide the substance's mass by its volume. Or to put it into a formula triangle would look like this, because the symbol for density is the Greek letter rho, which looks like a P. And because mass is measured in kilos, and volume is measured in meters cubed in physics, density is normally measured in kilos per meter cubed. So if we take solid aluminium as an example, which has a density of 2,710 kilos per meter cubed, that means that a single one meter cubed block of aluminium would have a mass of 2,710 kilos. We can also measure density in other units though, with the common one being grams per centimeter cubed. And if you want to convert the two, just remember that one gram per centimeter cubed is equivalent to 1,000 kilos per meter cubed. So aluminium has a density of 2.71 grams per centimeter cubed. As an example question, let's calculate the volume of 420 kilos of aluminium. In the exam, they tell you that the density is 2,710 kilos per meter cubed. You'll just have to rearrange the equation to work out the answer. If we use the triangle, we can see that to calculate volume, we have to divide the mass by the density. So we just do 420 kilos divided by 2,710, which gives us a volume of 0 0.155 meters cubed. The next thing we need to look at is how to calculate the density of a solid or a liquid experimentally. Let's start with solids. If we think back to our equation, we can see that in order to find the density, we're first going to have to find the mass and the volume of our object. Finding the mass is the easy part. We just place our solid on a balance and measure the mass. The volume, though, is a bit trickier and depends on whether it's a regular or irregular shape. If it's regular, like some kind of cube or cuboid, then we can find its volume by measuring and then multiplying its length, width, and height. So for this cuboid here, its volume would be four times three times two. So 24 centimeters cubed. However, if the solid's irregular, then we have to find its volume using a Eureka can that's been filled with water and an empty measuring cylinder. The cool thing about Eureka cans is that they have these outlets on the side, which allows water to flow out and be collected by the measuring cylinder. This means that as long as it's filled right up to the outlet, when we add our solid substance to the Eureka can, a volume of water exactly equal to that of the solid would flow out of the can and into the measuring cylinder, allowing us to measure the exact volume of the solid. Whichever of these two techniques we used though, we now have both the mass and the volume. So to find the density, all we need to do is plug the values into the equation. Now to find the density of a liquid is a bit easier. All we have to do is place an empty measuring cylinder onto a balance and zero the balance to reset it. Then we pour some of the liquid into the cylinder, for example, 10 milliliters, which is the same thing as 10 centimeters cubed, and we record the mass of that amount of liquid. Then we just divide the mass by the volume, and that gives us our density. In general, the larger the volume that you measure, the more accurate your density will be, because it minimizes the effects of the uncertainty in taking your measurements. You can also take multiple measurements, so that you can identify any anomalies and also calculate a mean. Anyway, that's everything for today. So hope you found it useful and I'll see you soon.